so here I have four sheep hides. As you can see, I'm just going to be working on showing you guys how to flush these, wash them, so I can make some rugs out of these. But as you can see, So I'm gonna need to wash those stuff, and they had ticks in them. If I can find one here, these sheep ticks. But once you get the, see that. Once you get the hide off of the. Settle down a bit. Yeah, that's what they look like. But yeah, this one's this height's full of them. All of them, if you can see that. Yeah, there's one. Disgusting. Yeah, they're moving really slow today. Hold. So, just be flushing these, that stuff off of them, and I'll show you guys how to do that. Okay, so I'm all set. Now, with these guys I'll be working on, I have my flushing beam right here. I'm just gonna put some weights on the end, that way it does not lift up like that when I'm scraping. Got my scraping tool. Messy. So, looks like I'm pretty much ready. And I'll show you how to wash these. So here's the hide. This is from a female sheep. And I'm just going to be working on taking all this fat off. It's meat. See, there's some meat there. It's a lot of fat. And there's a, this is like a thin layer of stuff. To get down to the skin. Can't really do anything with it when it has all this stuff on it. So I'm just going to be using my scraping tool. And just be going over it all that stuff off and this is how I'm gonna do it with the, the neck is here tail is over here I'll scrape sideways to it not from the neck down to the tail because it's a, well you can do it that way but it's a lot easier to do it this way but try it this way and see how it goes different ways to do this. Brace a log up against a tree. It's a different kind of scraper to scrape down. But this is, this is the way to do it. Bring this beam anywhere. Scrape too well. So 
there's how you scrape all that stuff. Alright, so here's a closer look at it. I've scraped all this off. Here's what I took off. Just want to keep doing that over the entire hide. See, I got there. Keep doing that and keep taking stuff off. The thicker, like this, will be the easiest will be really easy because it's really thick fat. But you just want to keep doing that over the entire thing until you get all that off. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Alright, so here's the hide. It's finished. I got done with the flushing. As you can see I got all the fat and stuff of it. I just put it in a container. Yeah, it looks pretty nice except that there's a hole there, a hole there, and then there's a big hole right there. And there's holes up here at the top, which I may just whack off the entire neck. Because it's not get skinned very well. Up there, but the rest is all nice. So, there's the first step on how I into rugs, but next thing I'll be doing is washing this part of the hide stuff, and then I'll be salting them and stuff, and I'll show you how to do that too. Alright, so now, I'm going to salt these, a bag of salt there, my hides, I have a pallet here, I'm just going to put it over, the hides over, one of the hides over this pallet, salt it down real good, that way all the moisture and stuff runs off onto the ground. Yep, that's, I'll do it, and I'll just salt it down, I'll show you how I do that too. I got my salt here. The kind of salt that I'm using here is just salt meant for animals and stuff. You don't want to use table salt or Maybe I'll just keep doing that over the entire hide until it's totally covered. I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so as you can see got done coating it with salt, put quite a lot on, you don't want to skimp on the salt or anything, but yeah that'll just draw all the oils and stuff out of it, that'll make it rot, they'll all run off and onto the ground here, and then a hide like this, after all the oils have been pulled out of it, can sit for quite a long time before it starts rotting. So do that and then I'll show you guys the next step. By the way, here's the kind of salt that I use. Get that. Get that. It's just meant for
for animals and stuff. Alright, so here we are back with the hides. And I don't know how many months they've been sitting. They've been sitting for a lot of months. A lot of these have been folded up. This one is almost done. As you can see, it's looking real nice. Just a little more brushing and stuff. But anyway, this is the one that we've been working on. I have another one over there that's pretty close to done. Just needs a good brushing done to it. But let's scrape all. We gotta just scrape all this salt off and then start rubbing it with the rock. And I'll show you guys how to do that. Alright, so here I got my two rocks. This one is rounded. We're just getting it good and nice and white, and this one has some sharper edges. If you gotta do more scraping on it. So I got it pretty much almost done. Pretty good. Still nice and flexible. There's some spots that still need more work, but now it be smooth, don't smell too bad. Now I'm just gonna flip it over and I'm gonna start brushing. Start brushing out all of this junk. So it does help if you can have it down on the ground or on a pallet and stuff. You do not want to be doing this outside in the grass because the salt will kill your grass. So I'm just going to be using this brush. As you can see, I've been doing it a bit here. But I'm going to go with the direction of the hair and it will pull out some of the wool. But I'm going to go the direction of the wool and then I'm going to go against it and then this way. So I'm going to be going this way, then this way, then this way, this way, all different ways. Just to get it all nice, soft, and fluffy. I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Alright, so I finished brushing it out. I found out that one of these horse brushes put on the long side works really good. Anyway, it is all brushed out neck is up there and here is down where the tail is and so I quit brushing it at an angle like this so now I'm just gonna take my brush go back at an angle like that to get all of the hair going in the same direction and I'll show you guys what it looks like all right well we're finished with the brushing as you can see it looks real nice I did not get these edge parts just up to where I want to cut it around here that way it still looks like a sheep and stuff but I am, am gonna be cutting out around the edges and stuff just taking all that off so flip it over and see how it looks all right so I flipped the sheep hide over and now as you can see I've started doing it here I'm just gonna be oiling it and letting all that soak in it makes it more pliable and it does not make it smell as bad. So, I have two kinds of oil here. I am going to be using the Needs Foot Oil for this hide, and the other 
other stuff is just tanning oil, but I'm just going to be doing that over the entire hide, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's all done now. As you can see, I just went to right in here. So I'm probably gonna end up cutting that off. Around here. Sit over there. But anyway, I'm gonna let that sit for a day or a couple days. I'm gonna check on it and see how it looks. Alright, so it's been sitting overnight now. And so now I'm just going to have this rag here try to just go over the entire thing and just take off all that extra oil if there is any that's sitting in pools or anything I'm just gonna go over the entire thing this would not take very long Or just see the shine wherever it is. Just give that a good old scratch. That looks pretty much it. Alright, well, that's pretty good. Now, I'm gonna flip it over, just bending it to see how pliable it is it over, do one more combing on it, then cut it out, it should be done. Alright, well there she be, all nice 
nice and combed out. Looks real nice. Nice and soft. And sinks down in it. All looks real nice. Now the last step is a sharp knife and we'll cut it out. Alright, so now for the last step. We are going to take a sharp knife hunting knife, but you wanted a sharp one, and we have it on the skin side, and we are going to just cut along the edges to get rid of all of this kind of hair, and I am going to, because I have a big hole here, I'm going to try to cut it about right in here to get rid of that, and I'm going to try to keep part of the legs to make it look as natural as possible instead of just a round one, but you can make it a round rug if you would like to make it whatever shape you want. You can make it square, you can make it round, you can make it all kinds of stuff. But anyway, I'm going to get started with cutting this and I'll show you guys how it's done. So I finished cutting it, as you can see, all the wool is stuck together, but it takes a little bit of pulling. It should all come apart. If it doesn't, then that means you did not cut through deep enough. There's a use for that. But anyway, I'm just gonna trim up the edges, make it all look the same. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. Alright, so now it's the very last step. Flip it over here. And I'm just going to get all this stuff that I did not get before. All of the edge stuff up in here. Just get all that all brushed out. I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done.
she's done. I took this brush and went along the outside edge like this on the skin side all the way around so that it looks real nice. That side looks real nice. Just can comb all of the hair into the right direction from the neck down and then it'll be done.